Welcome back folks, my name's Anthony Valentine the Camper Nerd. Today I've got an Auto Sleeper 2001, in my opinion, the ultimate camper van. Not motorhome, camper van. So a motorhome is where the body just has the little part of the chassis here as a van and then it has a heart large leisure part put on. If the camera can come round, uh, this is a motorhome, so this is an auto sleeper motorhome. That's the difference where all that part is the leisure part and that, well, these are fiberglass part panels are put on to the vehicle whereas this is what we call a camper van so i.e you've got the van out of the factory this particular one is a 2001 vw t4 which stands for type 4 transporter it's got the later 2.5 tdi diesel engine in and it's a long wheelbase so this is just over a fraction over 17 foot long uh, if the camera can come around there's it's Smaller brother, that's also a 2001, that's an Auto Sleeper Trooper, um, that's the medium wheelbase and that's just under about two inches shy of 16 foot and that's got the last of the older style engine, the 2.4, but with that being the medium wheelbase it hasn't got the wet room at the back, you've just got a porta potty, but there's a £5,000 difference even price in the same vehicle, the same age, because this is the long wheelbase with the... Uh, well, let's come and show you around first. I'll just show you what I'm talking about. It's got the rear toilet and shower room. How nice is that? Just one thing to note on these topazes, the, su the suspension struts only seem to work if you're holding this, this will come down slowly. So everyone just, yeah, it's just about holding there, but everyone just puts a pole there or a broom because of the weight of the bike rack, the fixings and the washroom, wet room, plastic panel that's been put on the tailgate. But yeah, it's amazing. So you've got a toilet and a shower room. That carpet removes and you've got a full shower tray, wardrobe, an area there for the gas bottles which we've changed incidentally with a new hose and regulator so that's the difference so that's why i'm saying that this is the ultimate camper van because you've not got far off the space you can park in a supermarket car park you can drive it anywhere but you've got all the facilities um, we'll have a sneak peek in the leisure door, the side door, and I've just made the bed out with the infill cushions. Would you believe that's creating just over, say, six foot one long by just over five foot wide? I'd say five foot one. Yeah, amazing how they've crammed all this into just a camper van. Auto sleeper being auto sleeper, everything's there. We've even got the turnbuckle catches, so nothing's rattling when you're driving. That's the small solid wood um, table, and there you've got the large table, and it all clips into place. And there's a reset there that it just goes into a perfect reset fit, no rattles, designed as it should be. Yeah, they did it first time right, the Auto Sleeper. I've said it many times, they really are a premium product. Some of the keyboard warriors will balk at the price. This is the price they are. It's not me dictating it. This is the price we've got to pay for these vehicles. They really do hold their value. Trust me, this is a future classic. If you're watching this video now in 2024, watch you back in 2034 or 2044 and this will be still going strong in another 10 to 20 years the bay windows if you look at some of the bay windows very basic inside noisy slow barely 20 to the gallon no facilities inside and they're commanding 20 grand plus and don't even get me started on the split screen you've got all the facilities here and we've got the vw technology okay so coming around the passenger side we've got the fuel cap there for the diesel We've got the Fiorma F45 awning. We've got the water, fresh water inlet. It's even got hot and cold water, this. Most camper vans only have cold water. We've got the mains hook up there. We've got the Autos, uh, Fiorma two bike carry rack. So that just pulls down slowly to there and that will carry two bikes. And there's two clips there that'll hold it in situation. 
body work I would say a good strong 9 out of 10 um, it actually wants a bit of a wash but we'll wash this off shortly we're just making a couple of videos this morning a uh, tiny little dimple and I mean it hasn't even broke the paintwork there we're being fanatical so perhaps I wouldn't get that repaired I just maybe if you're that ilk that you want to show it off and take it to shows you might just want to get a dent man there i've just noticed it's got the original vw transporter wheel trims we're missing an emblem off one so i'm going to get you an emblem or another wheel trim so we'll resolve that uh, we've got the electrolux fridge vents the fridge is a three-way again it will work when you're wild camping off gas driving off the engine battery or on the mains hookup the most efficient setting or before you set off from home or on a campsite we've got the hot water trimmer cover there so that just pops off there and that's to heat the hot water on gas and you can also heat the hot water on mains quick peek there let's pop the bonnet front's okay front bumper bonnet's okay inner sills yeah this is fine And there you've got the 2.5, very strong engine. Now, while I was on holiday last week, I sent it in. I said, while I'm on holiday, it just arrived pre-holiday, have a full service. This has only done, is it 67, 68, 69,000 miles? 68, 900. So by the time with a delivery, or you could, there's no change out of 69,000 miles. It's only had the two owners. The last old boy had it for 10 years. I think he bought it on 50 odd thousand miles. So he's only covered 15 miles, 15,000 miles in his 10 year of ownership. He bought it from Todd's Motorhome in Preston. Uh, so we only had the oil changed a few times on MOTs. So I give the instructions to the diesel specialist to give it the full works. And there's been a bit of miscommunication. They've actually, so I told them to do all the filters, do everything it wants, because I wasn't happy that we haven't got the record of the timing belt. So he's done the timing belt, the water pump, fuel filter, oil filter, air filter, wait for it. He's had the injectors out and clean those, and he's even done a refurbishment on the pump, which I didn't ask for. So there's a big, massive bill. I don't think there's no change out of £1,500. So you can see now why these, uh, when I supply them, the price is including all that with my full warranty and I'll be happy to put my name on it. As always, three months total warranty and six months on the engine and gearbox. Okay, I'll take you inside shortly, but first we'll have Dennis the drone and we'll have a quick fly over and show you the roof. Okay, after the flyover showing you the roof, we'll step inside this lovely topaz. So I'll just show you the front first. Yeah, it really utilizes every square inch of space possible. So you can see both front seats spin wound, Captain Swivel. Uh, so that'll swivel at an angle if you so wish. So will that one. That one will completely swivel around, go back, and we've got three little infill cushions here to make up the bed. So there's a little one that goes in that gap. There's one with that lever there that fills in the handbrake space, and there's a large one that fills in that space. So this particular one's got the, the table leg there, the fixed solid table leg that fits into there as well as the L-shaped one, which will position in those two holes. And then you can have the little table there, or the large table, or both, or vice versa. So the small table is positioned there. Again, clicked into place in the groove with a turnbuckle catch, and the large table, solid wood, as you would expect with auto sleeper, little turnbuckle catch there and that goes into the recess. 
yeah these really do ooze quality now you can see why i say this is literally the ultimate camper van bar none we might have a few um complaints or different opinions in the comment section maybe you westvalia people saying they're the only ones that vw sold in fact i've got a westvalia over here somewhere there it is left hand drive there it is left hand drive getting mixed up that one's already on ebay auction at the moment that's left hand drive westvalia they were converted but the interior was not as plush as the auto sleeper and doesn't have the very large wet room and shower room on the long wheelbase as this one does so what a design by auto sleeper this is why it's really do hold their value so we've got the large area we'll just put the habitation master light on so we've got the shower there vanity unit above the wardrobe space last owner's left you the mains hook up some cleaning or toilet chemicals little wardrobe there it's all being freshly sanitized so we've got the toilet here underneath that carpet is a shower tray Okay, no marks that brings out your hot and cold water as well as your hot and cold shower and there's even a towel rail curtain rail above the bit hard to get the camera around just close that in and that creates a separate area so on the near side we have the two burner hob and grill this is just at a habitation service last Tuesday, so just a couple of days ago at date and time of filming. Everything checked out, the new gas hose and regulator was fitted, so it's been issued with a new gas and habitation certificate by ST Caravan Services. All the blinds and fly nets operate as they do and should do when they left the factory new. Underneath here, that looks like a water hose of some description. Uh, mains, fuse box, trip box and the leisure battery. Opposing there is your sink. Typical of auto sleepers to over engineer and think everything. Even a little draining board, shopping board, hot and cold water. You can see it's very clean. So the last owner, I think he bought it at 52,000 miles. So he's only covered 15,000 miles in 13 years. I thought it was about 10 years. He'd owned it since 2011. Standard Electrolux three-way fridge. 12 volt when you're driving mains when you're plugged in on hookup and gas facility off your own mains uh, when you're off the grid. Typical auto sleeper, solid wood finishing. Trumatic gas blown hot air ETEC system, which will come under the various 240 main sockets throughout, and hidden tucked up under the large table here is the hot water, so you can have it on gas if you're wild camping or electric, or it's perfectly safe to use both at the same time, and that will heat your hot water up twice as fast. Again, being an auto sleeper, no flimsy MDF or uh, wood. We just, on the bed, we just press that lever. This will come, and this is on a metal frame. This will come across to the center. That cushion will flop into place. On the passenger side, we've even got a three-point seat belt. I'll clip that out shortly. That's a three-point seat belt. And there's the anchorage. Again, little lever here, metal frame. That will slide across like so. This will fill in the gap and that those will just clip off to make the side so you could in theory have a, a sofa there a sofa there two single beds or one large double i think it's just over six foot long in the bed made up and five foot wide various reading lights that's a, a 12 volt supply so you always if you're charging or if you're wild camping you want to be charging your gadgets phones perhaps or tablets off that and then that will use the electric off the leisure battery and not the engine battery you don't want to be charging up anything off the engine battery if you're wild camping yep all the fly nets and blinds 
operate as they should do. Carbon monoxide tester, blinds again and fly nets. Yeah, that's about it. So we've got the curtains to the front. They'll go all the way around the curtain rail at the front. You can actually use the curtains here, but they're more of a bit of a, a um, for vanity really, because it's much easier to use the curtain, uh, the blinds, and they're foil covered on the back as always. Yes, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Everything is really thought out well on this topaz. As I say, you're welcome to comment below this video. Instantly, under the video will be in the description the link to the advert. This is on sale at a fixed price. I'll be happy to deliver it anywhere in the country after a £500 deposit. Even that's refundable if you're disappointed upon viewing and delivery. It's never happened yet. Let's not hope it's the first time. That's its little brother. So that is the Trooper. So that's on the medium wheelbase. So you're just under, about, I'd say 14 inches, just under a f over a foot shorter. That's got the older style 2.4 engine in, and it hasn't got the rear wet room. So that's the price difference. That's why that's £5,000 cheaper, even though that's the same year. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a real nice original vehicle. Very few topazes for sale in the country at any one time anyway. And most of them have had a long previous ownership because... The model is so well designed and the customer satisfaction is so high. So to get one with that mileage, the history, it's only done just under 69,000 miles. And as always, I'll put my name to it and include a three months total warranty as well as six months on the engine and gearbox, especially after I've just had all the filters and the timing belt and water pump changed and the injectors checked over. So my name's the Anthony, Anthony Valentine, the Camper Nerd. You can contact me on 0798 526 1078. And incidentally, another one of these has just arrived. That's just coming out of the service bay. And that's the same year, 2001, but it's a 51 plate. So it's about three or four months younger. Uh, but that's done 107,000 miles from memory by five owners. And that'll be a couple of thousand pounds cheaper. Okay, folks, I'll catch you on that next video.